Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? Um, smoking weed every day, smoking cigarettes, um, dishonesty. Um, I don't want to die bod because I don't have a bomb bod. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, like somebody that's like, I, I, don't, I just don't want no bullshit, Kendra. Well, y'all know how I'm going to start this one off. But you know that ain't, bitch, that ain't in your house. Bitch, that ain't your waist. Bitch, that ain't your ass. That ain't your titties. Bitch, them ain't your eyes. Them ain't your eyelashes. Bitch, them ain't your nails. <laughs> bitch, who is you? <laughs> bitch, is them even your knees, bitch? <laughs> bitch, is them your knees or them? <laughs> or them somebody else's knees, bitch? Okay, can he have kids already? He can have kids. They got to be grown kids. What's the like age? I, What's the youngest? 15. Oh, excuse me. 15. Do right. they got to be in South Jersey? No, I like to travel. Okay. How much money the man got to make? Over 100000 fuck is wrong with you? Over a hundred k Yeah. Is that too much to ask for? Shit, I make good money, so... He got to make good money, so together we will make great money. Here's the thing, and, and women get mad when I say this. It's not okay. too much to yeah. It's not too much to ask for. It's just that the man that makes 100 k uh -huh. doesn't care about your money, and he has a lot of options. Right. So he has to be a man that desires you. And mm -hmm. not saying that there's not a man that makes 100 k that doesn't desire you, right? Right. But does he desire you and only you? Are are you open to an open relationship? No. I want my own man. Okay. That's going to want me. That's just going to want you. Did you have... Yeah. When's the last time you've been in that dynamic? What dynamic? The own man that wanted you. Um, My last relationship was four months ago. Why did it end? Because he, he was on some bullshit. So he didn't want, he want you then? He wanted something else too then? No, he wanted a fucking allowance. And I was like, bitch, I'm not your mother. All right. Now, now think about a woman like this. Think about what she just said. He wanted effing allowance. But that's your man. That's your man. And you, you're so proud. You make, you make all of this money. You, you, you like this here, you know? You make all of this money. But when the man needs something from you 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 have such a derogatory way of saying it and but you want a man that makes a hundred thousand dollars plus it'll never happen well I'm, I'm not gonna say it'll never happen because it's okay it's okay to have sex with him because that's basically what it is you know, but this lady, it's really not, it's really not good, man. When they, you get women that's proud like that, that's so proud like that, you know, a man can't really tell them nothing, you know. And it, it's it's better for a man to get a woman that, I don't care if you're making 20000 I you, you know, getting somebody that's that proud is really crazy to me. I mean, you know, she she is just she is just out of her head proud. And you can just hear uh, you know you know, I don't want to give him anything. And you have never had a man that has given you. I mean, it's it's crazy, man. This is crazy. Right. So he wanted you to talk. pay him. Right. He wanted me to pay for dick and I was like, "No, nah, I'm good." Right. So you, 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 you make 100K yourself? I make over 100K. But if you have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried, you are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. But you cannot be fit in a, a, an adjustable six or higher, 35, unmarried. Something wrong with you.
That's where men are automatically coming at it. And here's the thing. Just like when you were between the ages of 18 and uh, 25 and you didn't want to settle, you were trying to get the you were trying to get the CEO, the pilot, the investment banker, you were trying to get flued out. Yes. That's the that's that's the unfortunate problem you have. Right. Because the, right. The, the, so when you when you date a man that makes less than what you're making, then it becomes a problem. He sees what you're making, he thinks that, you know what I mean? Oh, she got money, so whatever, but I'm not I ain't never paid for dick, Kendra. I'm never going to pay for dick. So. Oh, no, I'm not telling <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm not telling you to pay for penis either, to be clear, right? Right. I'm not telling you to, be, I'm not telling you to pay for penis. I had a very emotional conversation about the data and which I learned, right? So I don't, I'm not a relationship expert. I'm not a therapist. All, my, all I am is a professional journalist that hosts a dating show that I've been hosting for two years now. And with the data that I learned, it's more difficult for women to find a man that makes that amount of money to be faithful. You right. can potentially date a guy that's going to make what you have and more, mm -hmm. but if you ain't, but more than likely, he might want to sleep with other women. So then right. you have to ask your question, you have to ask yourself the question, would you tolerate that? Well, of course, in my opinion, she she wouldn't have a choice. She wouldn't have a choice. It's not like it's not like if you want if you want that man, if you want that that hundred k man, you don't have a choice. I mean, because basically he gonna do what he wanna do anyway. And this lady, this lady is, I mean, she's really really. In my opinion, she out of her league, and I don't care. I don't care if you make two hundred thousand dollars a year. I mean, what did Kevin Samuel say about about women, women like this, and what they expect? And you think your money is is your 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 uh, sexual marketplace value? Your money has nothing to do with it. And I think you know, for you to say, for you to say, uh, he got to make at least a hundred k. Well, I mean, those men want something too, and it, and I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it, y'all. If, if anybody watch Kevin Samuels, you already know what he's gonna say. What is it? F. What? What is it? Fit, feminine, friendly. Listen, man. This lady. This lady. Okay. So one thing I will say is that she. Well, I mean, she acts feminine, but just when you listen to when when the, when the curse words start coming out, guess what? That kills that. So I mean. The fit part, you know, friendly. I don't know how friendly a woman can be that talk like that and and and, and curse like that. I mean, she probably gave him hell. <laughs> I could only imagine how she tried to handle him. Then you might find a guy that will be faithful, treat you great, but he may not make as much as you. Does right. that matter to you more? He can be faithful, but he's not going to make as much. So right. the unfortunate thing, and I say this because the type of black man you will want, I'm assuming you want to date a black man, right? It, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm oh, Jamaican. Okay. You're open. Right. No, I mean, I'm open. I'm Jamaican. So like being relatable to a man in the Caribbean is very important to me, but I'm not like, I wouldn't be like, oh no, I wouldn't want to date a, a white man. Like it's not, you know what I mean? It's not a deal breaker for me dating a white man. I've dated white men before. Um, about the money situation, like if he's willing to do what needs to be done, I don't mind helping somebody. Like I'm a nurturer, so I don't mind helping somebody. But if he wants to feel entitled to what I have, because I do have everything, I don't need a man necessarily for anything. Why should a high value man pick you versus picking the, okay. Why should a high value man pick you versus picking a woman he can make his own children with? I've always made more than the men that I've dated because I've all, right. I've always been a go-getter, you know what I mean? So um, I find that when I date men that make less money than I do, like they feel entitled to what I have. What the hell is your Sorry. Sorry, you can't just, oh, nothing. Oh, you all right? How you Which I don't appreciate because you didn't get me to where I'm at at this point. So, when I'm dating somebody, 
I need, I, I want somebody that's going to build with me, even though I re I'm already built. I don't mind helping somebody. So real quick, you're a beautiful yes. girl. I'm assuming you dated men that made over a hundred thousand dollars, right? I, I've dated millionaires, right? Okay. So why, so why didn't, why didn't those relationships work? What was the challenges you had with dating millionaires? They were too busy. Now, come on, guys. Y'all believe that? She said She said they were too busy. I mean, so basically, so basically, all, all the millionaires wanted to do was, was blow your back out. I mean, because these, these people already know what type of woman you are. They already know, man. And so, you know, that's why Kendra, and, and Kendra is, is really breaking her back to try to tell this lady and get her to understand what it is. You are not going to get no man like that. And if, and even if you do, you gonna share. And if you don't want to share, then that hey, hey, you stay where you at. But that was funny. That was funny for her to say they were busy. <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. Right. And were they sleeping with other women too? No, I find that they just didn't have time. They were too busy making money. <laughs> but you still want a man that is going to be in that way? I need him to do both. <laughs> have you ever found that? That's why I'm here. He doesn't exist. <laughs> he can't. Because a man that makes a lot of money is going to be a busy man. He can't How else be is he gonna make a lot of money and not be busy? Kendra, I make good money and I'm not always busy. You You're make not a time man. you right, but I you make time for what you want to make time for. Has that happened? Don't do that. That's why I'm here. That. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ask you this question because my thing is you know this already. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> You make a certain amount of money. You told me you dated a millionaire man. Right. So don't try to change the will. No, no, no. What, what you got to decide is what, what are you willing to accept. Right? If you want a millionaire man or a man that makes a lot of money, certain things come with that. Right. So if you want to accept that, then go that way. So there's no judgment. But don't ask for the millionaire man to act like the guy that makes 50K. They're right. different people. The 50K guy might be faithful, but then he wants money from you. You don't like that either, right? And I get that. I'm but not I'm... saying you should like that. What I'm trying to challenge you to do is be honest with what you have experienced. I'm not telling you anything that you haven't experienced yourself. Right. I'm not looking for a millionaire man, though. So what are you you looking for? A man that makes your amount of money. Right. I, I, I don't want like a man. You dated that, but I feel like you've dated that man, right. too. I want a man that's motivated. Okay. Right. So money doesn't matter no more. That? No, it, oh, it does matter because I, I like to do things. I like, you know what I mean? I like to go out. I like to travel and travel. So a man that's going to gonna be there for you regardless if you, does it have the money, is it important? Say that again. So if a man is going to be there for you, but he doesn't have the money you make, is that important to you? If we're dating and it's just me and him, I don't mind helping my man. That's not a problem for me. Okay. When was your last relationship, Carrie? Uh, four months ago. Four, so why did that end? It ended because he wanted what I had. Shut up! He wanted. I, he made less money than you, right? Right. And okay, he, so that was he, a deal breaker. Right. He kind of felt like he was entitled to the money that I had, which if you were being a good man, you shouldn't have to ask for what I have because it would just be given to you. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out right here, man. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. Do you have kids? Yes. Do you have kids? Yes. You don't want no more kids, right? No. Okay. All right, guys. This is the end of this Kendra G Singles Live. Man, you know, I had fun with this one. I, I, I don't know, man. I think these women are really delusional. And it, it, it just it just never ends, man. I mean, they got guys on here that's delusional, too. And I think I'm going to start doing some of these guys. Uh, showing you how crazy some of them sound, but man, these women just, they just shoot for the stars, man. And they ain't but five foot tall. They shoot for the stars. Got a funny, look, if you guys like this video, 
like and subscribe you guys check this out i got a funny a funny ending to this video y'all tell y'all made it all the way to this part y'all check this out Oh! <laughs>